Everybody, this is Real with Robo. Uh, something got me hot this morning already. Already I'm hot. I just woke up nothing but about an hour and a half ago, whatever. And I'm already hot. I was looking at this uh, report about how two officers, Latino officers, got ambushed in uh, McAllen, Texas. Now, the reason why I'm bringing race into this there's a reason for that, and you're going to wait until I get to the story to tell you that reason, all right? So, these officers were Latino, okay? The suspect who ended up shooting himself, he was also Latino, okay? This is in, like, the deep, deep part of Texas, border town, all that. Now, I don't know nothing about the suspect other than his name, you know, and I barely remember that because y'all know how I am with names. Anyway, this is my beef, all right? This is my bitch of the day, all right? This officer, one of the officers who died, his daughter, his baby girl, his princess, all right? She got up on Twitter, and she was like, you know, I lost my dad today. You know, a fool done, done ambushed him. You know, however she put it, she shared her sorrow. And like y'all know, I'm not allowed on Twitter, so I cannot view the tweet, and I can't respond to tweets because I've been uh, suspended for three days for the past three years. That's how Twitter did me, because I was an abusive account, and the only abuse I dished out was the abuse I got. So it was foolish, you know, I ain't gonna let nobody pick on me because I'm white. Just because I'm white, you want to pick on me, I'm going to put it right back on you. We can both break out our pixel swords and get to throwing e-bricks. That's real. That's rip right there. Anyway, so little girl, baby girl, gets on Twitter. She's all, you know, I lost my dad. You know, he done died. The suspect, you know, he was responding to a call. The suspect shot him, whatever. And then she hashtagged Blue Lives Matter. This is a cop's motherfucking daughter. So, of course, blue lives gonna matter to her. And you know how Twitter and you SJWs and you leftists and you motherfucking BLM people and you Antifa people received her? You didn't say, I'm sorry for your loss, you know, even though I don't like cops, you know, I'm sorry for your loss, that's really hard, that's really tough as a daughter. You know, I feel for you, baby girl. No, you done said that that hashtag was racist and you gave her more grief than she already need. Than she already had. She watching her mama, her family, cry over her daddy. And she's sitting there, Latina. And she crying over her daddy. And then you guys get on her head and say that's racist? The fuck wrong with you? The fuck is wrong with y'all? You talking about robo ain't got no sensitivity, no empathy, no sympathy. Because, hey, you know, somebody go for a cop gun and the cop molly the shit out of him. And I say, well, I guess he ain't gonna go for the cop gun anymore, huh? Ain't that right? This little girl, she mourning her daddy who a cop. She's Latino. Latina. Her daddy was Latino. Y'all some white-ass motherfuckers. Crooked-ass motherfuckers. Faulty-ass motherfuckers. And you got the nerve to tell this baby girl that she racist because her daddy life mattered to her. The hell wrong with you? The hell is wrong with y'all? See, this is probably why I got my account banned on Twitter is because... Shit like this, it'll make me flash. It'll make me straight go flash mode on motherfuckers. This little girl, I don't care if she was 20. I don't care if she was 110. She done just lost her daddy. Because of some fucked up ass criminal. You know, the same people you motherfuckers uplift. And y'all... Jump on her head for saying her daddy life mattered to her. 
How would you feel if your daughter, if your son, if I jumped on they damn skull? Saying that when they hashtag BLM or Antifa or whatever life matter. I get on they skull and tell them they racist and they mom and they daddy some worthless sons of bitches. How would you like me to do that? Oh, then I'm going to be in the wrong. But you in the right? No, you ain't in the right. No, you ain't in the right. That's why I'm going to end this real with Robo like this. Blue lives matter. Blue lives matter. Blue lives matter. All lives matter. Blue lives matter. Blue lives matter. Fuck BLM. Fuck Antifa, fuck USJWs, and fuck anybody that gave that little girl grief about mourning about her daddy and saying her daddy life matter. Fuck you too. I hope y'all die in a tire fire and please respond to this. I really want y'all to respond to this because I will say it to your face. BLM talking about how they, you know, have to pray that they God to motherfucking stop them from killing white people? You say how you down to uplift the black and brown communities and then you do this to a little girl who just lost her daddy? The fuck wrong with y'all? And yeah, Robo hot. So please, do respond in the comment section. I dare you. Take me on. Take me on. Instead of picking on a little girl who just lost her daddy, take a real woman on. Now, I used to support BLM when I thought they were about police brutality. When I thought they were about, you know, reform. When I thought they were about all that. But then I started finding out they ain't about all that. They about ushering socialism, Marxism, and being the Democrats' little puppets. Yeah, that's right, BLM. I just called you that. You talk about, oh, you know, the white man is a bad person, and yet you work for the white man. He your puppet master. What's up? What's real? What's real? What's real? Say something. What's real? And Tifa talking about, oh, we don't like fascists, yet you turn around and threaten people. If they don't do what you want them to do, you threaten them with violence. That's called fascism, you stupid sons of bitches. Fuck you too. And then there's this new little group out there who want to call out the KKK. They sitting in the middle of nowhere and don't nobody know that they're going to be there. And they threaten a white man in a minivan. Oh, Ten of them motherfucking badass motherfuckers. And they talk about, oh, you know what? We all form a military. Well, form a military, your fucking stupid ass put the scope on backwards. I'm a civilian. And I showed my husband that. I was like, look at this dude scope, though. And you carrying two assault weapons? And you think you Rambo. Bruh. Bruh, and you calling out the KKK, which has, hasn't been in existence, hasn't been active in over a hundred years. Bravo, you are so fucking ballsy. And then you call out uh, 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 them uh, Patriot Boys, whatever they call. I can't remember their name. But they're good old boys that ain't racist, and they're Patriots. And you call out the Three Percenters and the Militias. You about some dumb motherfuckers. You apparently want to see if you could pull off what the United States Marine Corps and the United States Army pulled off in Afghanistan. Where it was 10 to 1 odds. And they still won. If you are forming a military, babe, you need to hit them weights. Because you out of shape, motherfuckers. It just ain't right. You, you talking about, oh, you know, we call it out to KKK, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? They ain't been active in a long time. Oh, we, we, call, it, we call it out to Proud Boys. Where you at? Uh, they in Texas. Or probably sitting at home with their families looking at your stupid fat pot belly mushroom up ass on TV with your scopes on backwards and thinking you Rambo. 
attacking and offending and disrespecting a white man in a minivan who brushed you off and dismissed you after all your threats. We'll all kick your ass. We'll all kick your ass. Take ten of you to kick one man in a minivan's ass. Wow. You are tough. Then you're going to call out the three percenters and the militia. Do you know that there are black three percenters and militiamen? Uh, yeah, and the Proud Boys, they're not all white. Who you going to call out next, the Aryan Brotherhood? Perhaps if you actually got the Black Panthers with you, you might scare somebody. Oh, wait, that's right. The Black Panthers haven't been active either, but they're just coming back. And they scared nobody. They're, the new Black Panthers are led by a DJ who got his ass saved by a cop. So do you really think calling out the KKK when they've been inactive for decades makes you look tough why don't you just go to my son or my daughter and say you know what we're full grown men we're going to kick your little asses because you're white now that's probably not a good thing because daddy and mama will you know put you in your place uh, and being that they have a stepdad and a real dad and their real dad is a redneck trucker and their stepdad is an actual united states marine combat vet that knows how to put his scope on properly. You probably don't want to do that. And besides, I think my 14-year-old daughter could kick your ass. I'm just putting that out there, you know. Anyway, so that's my thing today. If you racist, fuck you. I don't care if you're a black racist. I don't care if you're a white racist. I don't care if you're a Chinese racist. I don't care what color you are, and you utter racism in my presence, fuck you. BLM, you're the most racist ass group. And I know you want to say, oh, but we got white people following us. You got brain dead white people following you. White people around the world are looking at the white people that support you and going, the fuck? I'm not as dumb as that. That is one dumbass motherfucking white person bending down, bowing down, and washing their feet. The fuck wrong with you, honey? Nobody supports you. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes Antifa. Nobody, absolutely nobody. The only people that like you are you. Nobody else likes you. Oh, wait, the Congressional Democrats like you, but that's because they're your puppet masters. Um, yeah. And they only like you till November. Yeah. <laughs> they're hollering, Black Lives Matter, until after November. And then, your lives won't matter to them no more. Hello? They do it all the time, every single fucking election cycle. And you fall for it every damn time. Anyway... My thing is this, the pettiness has gone on long enough. Um, you demeaned a little girl, a young lady who just lost her father. You guys are not brilliant, you guys are not brave, you guys aren't anything but selfish self-righteous, cowardice, bitches. You guys are punks. When you look at your mama and daddy, make sure you tell them that they raised a punk. Picking on somebody that just lost a daddy. And calling them racist for saying that their dad's life mattered. Pathetic. <laughs> Absolutely pathetic. And to the little girl who this happened to, let Robo tell you something, baby girl. You write whatever the fuck you want to write. You want to hashtag Blue Lives Matter? You want to hashtag All Lives Matter? You hashtag what the fuck you want to hashtag. And if somebody gives you a problem, tell them to come see Robo. 
You tell them, you tell them that Robo is waiting on them to talk shit about you. Because Robo wants some. That's where it's at. You hashtag whatever the fuck you want to hashtag, baby girl. And when they get on your head, you tell them, go talk to Robo about it. She says she got some issues with you. She got beef with you. And if they can't find me on YouTube, you tell them to find me on Facebook. My name is Roberta Morris. And I currently have the picture of Officer Rolf in support of him. You tell them come see about me. Until then, the ones with brains, y'all keep it moist. You know how I roll. Y'all keep it on the right side of the law. Keep your heads up. This shit will go away. And as for the rest of you, BLM, Antifa, the rest of you motherfucking idiots, go fuck yourself. Everyone is tired of your shit. But not everybody has the gall to say it. I do. Fuck you and go fuck off. And go fuck yourself. Blue lives matter. All lives matter. White lives matter. Chinese lives matter. Black lives matter. Mexican lives matter. Y'all motherfucking rioters and criminals and assholes. Antifa, your lives don't matter. And that's real with Robo.